More former employees of Steven Crowder's have decided to come forward to talk about how difficult it was to work for him, how abusive he is as a, an employer. And before we get to the latest allegations against him, I think it's important to talk about some of the allegations coming from one of his former co-hosts. And these allegations were made last week. So Matt Landau is the name of the individual we're talking about here. And he was a co-host for Steven Crowder and then later left and is now currently working for The Blaze. So he detailed how Crowder had installed a Dave don't talk button in the studio because he wanted to ensure that he always got the last word and that his co-host did not get the last word. So here's more from Landau. How were you informed that there is a don't talk light and what was your reaction? Um, I was pissed a bit because I know my job. I, right. I know that he talks a lot. I know that he's the star of the show. I know when to throw him what he needs to be thrown. I know when to sit back. It's what I did with Anthony for years. It's what I did next to Artie. It's what I, I it's what I do. I'm not trying to ever steamroll him. Right. It, it it was just, hey, don't be don't be funnier. Don't be and, and it's that's the truth. I mean it sounds bitter, but I knew it was true because I was pulled aside and I said, and it was, hey, make sure if you're doing a rant or like you guys are riffing, he gets the last word. You were told this explicitly? Yes. It was all about the title and I wasn't respecting it. So there needed to be a light. And I had to make sure that, you know, he, he got the last thing. So even if I did have a funnier joke, I would just leave it out. It was important to for the fans to not hear it. I always felt that my job as a comedian was to leave out the good one. I have heard of it where it's just the star needs to look like the star. So okay. it, I guess, you know, it's it's his show, fine. But I also feel like somebody who's so pro free speech and non-censorship, he was really about censorship. So that was Dave Landau, his former co-host. Uh, I'm mixing up his first name with uh, Matt McClory, uh, who we're gonna talk about in just a moment. Uh, because that was another incident uh, that Landau shed some light on during that interview. Uh, but so what are your thoughts, Jake? So, okay, look, there's a couple of different issues here. There's, there's the terrible wife video that we covered earlier um, when Anna and I weren't here. Uh, and then there's the this new allegations of the people who work with him. Now remember, the people who work with him are all conservative. They were almost all universally fans of Steven Crowder. They were super excited to work with him. And the fact that they're right wingers matters for another reason. Because right wingers generally these days and left wing, sorry if you're gonna catch feelings about this, but that's actually the point I'm making. The right wing is a lot less sensitive. Like you do any tiny little thing that's a little off in a normal place of work or a left wing place of work, you're gonna catch a lot of heat from employees, right? The right wing, you could abuse the hell out of them. They're like, yeah, that's right. Uh, so they don't have the same sensitivities as, as the rest of the population. And he still abused them so badly that they're like, oh, this is this is unbelievable. I, this is outrageous. But look at look at the ego. I, I find the ego sickening. You gotta let the star shine. So if you have a funny joke, don't say it. Then, why the hell did you hire him? You what did you hire him to make non-funny jokes? I think that's pathetic. Putting aside like, oh, workplace issues, this, that, the other thing. If you tell someone in your network, don't outshine me, you are pathetic and should go home. Okay. So I if somebody is funnier than me, which is not a high bar, uh, or makes better points than me on this network, I love it. Because I want to actually support creators. Now that leads me to Stephen Crowder. Remember, oh, this $50 million slave contract. And I don't want to do this, not because of me, but because of the other creators I want to support. It turns out he hates the other creators, does, including inside his own company, and doesn't want to support them at all. He's just a big giant baby. And a liar. I mean, it's now safe to say anything that he claims in one of these like lengthy monologue videos uh, should be taken with a grain of salt. And you should probably think that whatever he's saying, you should believe the opposite of. Um, now, speaking of not wanting anyone to outshine him, there's a comedian, Matt McClowry, who is supposed to fill in for him and host with Dave Landau on a day when Steven Crowder wasn't there. But suddenly, Crowder changed his mind about it, right? So when Crowder's assistant later said no to McClowry's appearance and Landau asked Crowder about it, 
the conservative personality unleashed on his co-host. He told me he owns me, it was venomous. I saw a different person that I had heard rumors about, Landau told Michael Malice during that interview. So it was another portion of that conversation. Now let's go to the latest complaints coming from former employees. I started with Landau because he was the only one who was willing to speak out publicly without hiding his identity. In this case, the New York Post spoke to several of Crowder's former employees. None of them wanted to be on the record with their names. They're worried about retaliation. Some of them also signed non-disclosure agreements. The Post also writes that they spoke to 10 former employees who claim Crowder ran an abusive company where he often screamed at his employees, including his own father, exposed his genitals, by the way, that allegedly happened a lot, sent out directives to arbitrarily fire people and made underlings wash his dirty laundry. Jesus Christ. At work. All right, so look guys, I don't know how many of those guys are still there, but have some self respect. They're all gone. Okay, they're, they're gone. all former, yeah. Okay, all right, good. Uh, and if anyone who's still working there, yeah, you wanna do his dirty laundry? You wanna have him say he owns you? Okay, have at it, Hoss. Uh, but then, you know, either have some self respect and leave, uh, or, you know, just understand the decision you're making when you're working with Steven Crowder. Look, guys, it, it, we have a rule here at TYT, it's a rule imposed by me, and that is disagreements are allowed, okay? And I'll tell you, the only time that I get bothered is when anyone on air says, you're not allowed to disagree with me. I never say it, right? But sometimes other people will think, no, I have the leftist position. And you are not allowed to disagree with me. No, wrong, incorrect. We're allowed to disagree here on TYT, okay? And we're gonna allow it forever and ever and ever. So if folks don't like that, that's that's fine. There's people, there's plenty of channels where they just do all robotic stuff, okay? So now in, their, in this context, we all have freedom and we all say what we actually mean, we're authentic. And I hate that the Steven Crowders of the world ruin it for everyone. By the way, also all the cable news actors, right? Nobody's authentic. And so then the audience rightfully goes, well, who the hell am I supposed to trust? This guy tells me that he's like a wonderful Christian, etc. And golly gee, he's got that face and, <laughs> and then it turns out he's a venomous prick. Behind the scenes, so I think it was a pretty venomous prick on camera too. I mean, that was his whole brand. Well, that's a great point. And when point, people Anna. tell you who they are, believe them. And and but the audience likes it when he's venomous to others, but I don't know that they love it when they see him doing it to his wife or to his coworkers who they also like. Guys, I mean, right wingers who like Stephen Crowder. Let me ask you. I mean, do you do you think that? I mean, is that it, like would you do his laundry? Come on, guys. Would you have a button? Imagine if I had a button that said, don't talk Anna, okay? Yeah, she'd wouldn't. walk out in one second. Do you want someone who walks out in one second who has self respect and their own opinions and their own strength? Or do you want a bunch of stupid lackeys who go, oh yes, yeah, Steven, you're so right, Steven. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to talk and I hope I wasn't funny. It's pathetic. I'm gonna be honest, I think most people want the lackeys. Most people in media want that, they just do. And I think that Steven Crowder, based on what's been revealed about him, is an extreme case. But look, when you're talking about the entertainment industry, and yes, that includes content creators on these various platforms, right? Whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever it is. As soon as they get big enough, it's it's all ego. And yeah, he, he it's very Trump-like, but it doesn't surprise me at all that he is terrified of other comedians outshining him on his own show. I gotta be honest, you know who that reminds me of? Jimmy Dore. Okay. Uh, so, uh, oh my God, don't anybody outshine me. Everybody laugh, you have to laugh, you have to laugh. Oh, That's so pathetic. It is, okay, okay. but let's get off that. And let's I move own back you, to he says I own you to yeah. people who work with him. So let's get to um, some specific allegations, right? I think the part that is the most concerning is how often he exposes his genitals, but more importantly, um, you know, like rubs his genitals on employees. That yeah, is what yeah. they're- Steven, look, dude, get, go to get, get counseling. Get therapy, therapy. Get, get therapy. It's, it, it's okay. It, we, <laughs> we get it, dude, we get it. He put his testicles and his penis on other people's shoulders, on their bodies. Let me give you over specifics. Over and over again. 
So uh, a former staffer uh, recalled driving back from Illinois in a van after a college show in March of 2018 when former producer Jared Monroe, whom Crowder dubbed not gay Jared, was targeted. Jared was asleep in the last row. Steven was in the front uh, and he was joking about what he was going to do, the staffer recalled. He climbed over and dropped his junk on top of Jared's shoulder. Okay, when asked about those allegations, by the way, Monroe uh, told the Post, no comment. He didn't deny it, he said no comment. When you get a no comment, that means he definitely did it. And he apparently did this, uh, you know, exposing his genitalia to Jared several times. Gee, I wonder why he picked Jared, the guy that he thought in his own shtick or whatever, joked around about how he might be gay. So he's like several times, he's like, please, please, will you take it? Please, 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 please. By the way, any other, that's why I talk about right wing versus left wing versus middle, etc. No other workplace, you would be fired immediately. As Every, you should, yeah, and, or 100%. Or you'd be sued to, to kingdom come, right? So, but. You know, he's so lucky those employees haven't sued him. It's unbelievable it, it that is, they haven't it sued It really him. is unbelievable, it really is. And yeah, I mean, I think you're right in noting the difference between, you know, how employees would react in like a, a left wing organization versus this right wing organization, right? Left wing, any perceived uh, slight could get you sued. <laughs> or at least publicly shamed in, in a way that in my opinion, sometimes is, Insane, but nonetheless, uh, let's give you more. During uh, a 2018 uh, flight with six people from the company, another former employee said they witnessed Crowder put his uh, testicles on his assistant and childhood friend John Goodman, who shook off the incident. And Goodman, by the way, is uh, still working for Crowder. And when the Post reached out for comment, uh, they did not get a response. Okay, uh, so uh, look. All this makes me uncomfortable. I hate, like I, we, we talked about Tucker Carlson's leak tapes. I don't like the leak tapes. Uh, the th situation with his wife, oh, it's gross. I hate that we're seeing it. I hate it for her. Uh, and I just, in principle, I don't like any of this. So I know t most people on the left are relishing this, like haha, -ha, right? But I, I'm not relishing it. But, uh, but the reason we're doing it is because you should know who these people actually are, right? So if you actually think that Steven Crowder is like such a golly gee, such a good guy and he's such a good Christian and all these things. And you see him yelling at his wife about you're not doing your wifely duties. Oh, just disgusting, it's disgusting. So, but hey, by the way, maybe his audience likes that. Because remember they do, and if you think that's not hypocritical and you think, hey, that's what I signed up for. As a good Christian, a wife should follow a man and he, she should do her wifely duties and if she doesn't, he should threaten to harm her, and that's I and employees. They're meant to be owned. I don't know. I don't know. Right wingers. I'm not you. You make the decision. If you like that, well, then maybe Crowder is your guy. You can't get any fairer than that. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get. Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.